ads without targeting are like billboards that you drive by. People are less likely to purchase from a billboard than they are from a conversation with a business that they know and that they love. They're unlikely to in, um, purchase if they just see something flash by them than they are if they're at a space where they're able to buy and to engage with that brand, right? So we want them in front of their computers, ready with their credit cards to purchase our products because we've nurtured them, we've engaged with them, we've built a relationship with them to bring about that close. But we can't do any of that without three steps happening first. We need three steps. The first step is that we have to have an ad account. You have to have an ad account, guys. You can't target ads if you're not in the ads manager or you don't have it set up. So I want to show you really quickly how to set up your ads manager. But first, we're going to cover the next two stages. So first, you need to have an ad account. You can't run ads if we don't know who you are and how to have those ads be paid for. After you have the ad account, then you need to have your payment system set up. Payment system set up. Basically guys, they, Facebook needs to know that you can pay, but also who you are. You're gonna set all of that up inside of Facebook so that your ads can begin running and that you can begin earning. The third step, the pixel. Guys, the pixel is one of the most important steps. Loads and loads of people. Even myself, guys, even I've done this. We've set up our ads manager. We've set up our payment system. We're ready to start running ads, but we don't turn on our pixel accurately, and so we can't track our users. The pixel is one of the things that makes ads work or not work inside of Facebook. Let me explain kind of what they are. How many of you guys have kids and you've gone to arcade games with your kiddos? Um, my kids do that for birthday parties with their friends. They go to an arcade game and they have tokens. And they have tokens that they used to be able to put into the machine. And as they put the tokens in, they'd have this little baggie and the baggie would run out of tokens, right? Well, the new machines and the new, the new ways that people are running arcade games from when I was a kid, now they give you a wristband. And on the wristband, there's a barcode. And mom or the person running the party, they put money into that wristband. Are they using their tokens? So mom puts five bucks into Johnny and Sue's and Shaquilla's account. She puts them into their accounts and then they go and they spend the tokens. And the, the little wristband shows if the tokens were spent. And when they run out, it shows where they spent them. And when they run out, it shows that they, they're out, right? The pixel works the same exact way as the wristbands at the arcade center. So stinking cool. Basically guys, the pixel follows people around everywhere, everyone. We're all pixeled, okay? And you get to put a pixel on your content, on your website so you can track your sales, your leads, your conversions. What happens is when someone lands on your page, it's like they checked in to the arcade game and says, said, I'm here, I'm here to play, scan me, I'm ready. It just tracks where people are and tracks what they're spending and it reports back to us. So just like um, when the kids go to the arcade game and this reported back that they played pinball machine, it reported that and it told the, the lady at the cashier center that kid deducted money from his little account that, that was set up for the games today. Um, that's exactly what happens on the Pixel. It reports back to the store to say, yes, this was purchased. Um, now, what if we don't want to know the specific people, but we just want to know the groups? The Pixel actually provides 
privacy in that we're not able to know the person's name that we're tracking. We're not able to know their identity. We're not able to know where they're even necessarily from. But what we can do is we can see their behaviors. So we can see this person purchased this product. And then I can say, I'm going to send them a follow-up ad saying thank you. Or this person has been to my website and it's their birthday. I don't know their name. I know nothing about them other than they are public with their birthday on Facebook and they came to my store in person or they, they came to an event or they're on my email list or whatever I've tracked for pixel data. And I can now say, if they're in my audience and it's their birthday, let's send them a happy birthday message. Okay, we get to do those things. We get to personalize content for them using the pixel. So, but only if you have it set up right. So I'm gonna follow along with you right now. And we're gonna show you those three things. We're gonna show you right now how to set up an ad account. We're gonna show you how to get payments set up. And we're gonna show you how to set up your pixel. And hang on tight guys, because at the end, I'm going to give you some really nifty bonuses that are gonna help you take your business even further. See you guys soon. Okay. So you're here, we're going to show you where to set up your ad account, how to uh, make sure you've got your payments set up so that you can pay Facebook for your ads, and then three, where to find your pixel. So what I want you to do is go to your page. So this is a dummy page that I made just like as a, as a dud page. I want you to go up to your page to your ad center. You're gonna to go to your ad center and once you're here, this is your personal ad center. Now, in future, future times, as you grow, you're going to want to set up your ads through Business Manager. But to begin, let's keep things simple. We're just gonna set up a general ad account, we're going to set up your payments, and then we're going to get your pixel. Okay, so here we are. This is our ad center. We're now going to go to the right area where it says payment settings. So you can see right here, I've got a payment method set up. If you don't already have a payment method set up, you're going to go right here to that button, click it, and then insert your payment details so that Facebook charges you for the ads. I also suggest that you go down here and set up your spending limit. Now, just that you know, Facebook will give you some prompts. They're going to give you some prompts for your name, your address, your phone number, ways to contact you. They're going to ask you for those things as you fill out your payment settings. So once again, guys, you're going to go from your page to the ad center at the top, right up here. Facebook's going to have like a little walkthrough, a little fast tutorial for you. And then you're going to click through that and then head over to this right section, set up your payment system, which is going to take you to this screen right here and you're going to be ready now to pay Facebook. Once you've done that, I want you to get out of this and go in to grab your pixel. So we're gonna to go to business home, which is a little icon here on the left, and then see this hamburger menu. We're gonna click on our hamburger menu and we're gonna to go to business settings. When we're in business settings, we're able to grab something called the pixel and scroll down to data sources and then to pixel. I know they bury it. Okay. So once you're in to this screen, you're going to add an event. You're going to go down here and you're going to click add an event. What this means is you're going to have an event that your pixel tracks. So we're going to click right here and we're going to install the code manually. What this basically means we're going to grab this little chunk of code and we're going to paste it into our website. Now, if you have a web designer, if you have someone who um, has set up your site for you, I would just copy that code and email it to your person that helps you. If you don't, and you're doing this yourself, let me show you what I would do as if it was ClickFunnels because ClickFunnels is one of the programs that we use um, to create sales pages. And honestly, guys, if you want one of my sales pages, I will literally give it to you so that you can copy it so you can understand how the, the system works. Okay, so this is our sales page where we sell our app. I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna go into the settings of my page, so you can see right here, and I'm gonna put the pixel code into the head tracking area. 
Now, if you're on WordPress, you're going to have to look and find where your head tracking code goes. But usually there's an open space where you scroll in and that's where you put that code. Notice I've already copied and pasted that code right here earlier. So it's ready to go. Now, once again, you have to go in, set up your ad center. So that is this area right here. Then you're going to set up your payments. You're going to set up your payment systems. So Facebook knows who to charge for the ads. After you've set up your payment systems, then you're going to go into your business center and you're going to go and grab your pixel code. So that's where you go to business settings and then into the data sources, into pixels, over to events manager. And then once again, to that little button, add an event, grab your code. As soon as you have that, you place it into your site. And now Facebook knows if somebody came and visited you and they track that information for weeks and for months. So this is the first thing, even if you don't know how the pixel works, just put it onto your site so that way you can start collecting all of that data to use for later. Wasn't that crazy awesome? You just learned how to set up your ad account. You learned how to set up payment and verify your identity so Facebook knows who to, who to charge for the ads. Um, you also learned how to set up your pixel. Guys, that is super powerful. You're like 95% out of the way there because your pixel does all the work for you as you make your ads. So next up though, guys, we want to make sure that you have your business manager set up. We want to make sure that you are able to track the behavior that happens on that pixel, um, what people are doing, um, you track your ads. So we want you to, to leave this and go back through the test again, through the quiz again, take it again and move on through the stages. Can't wait to see you guys because I want to see you grow your audience and grow your business. Thanks guys.